to a caregiver, do you ever struggle in figuring out your loved one or your client's needs because everything that they answer you with sounds confused or meaningless? The good news is it might not be quite as meaningless as it seems on the outside. In this video, I'm going to share with you two things that your loved one or your client could be saying when what they're saying sounds confused or muddled or just doesn't make sense to you and exactly what to say in order to figure this out. Welcome to Dementia Success Path. This is the place where we learn creative tips, non-medication approaches, and where we get support so that we can find success on our path as a caregiver. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you actually know when the videos are coming out. And with all that being said, let's jump right in. Most people don't just say random things. We're all trying to communicate something, usually our needs. And what we do as people whose brains are still intact is we draw from a combination of short-term memory, long-term memory, and associations. And as the disease progresses, we start to lose the short-term memory and all we have left are associations and we have long-term memories. And that's what our folks with dementia start building their reality and use to communicate with us. I, I, I wanna go home. M mom, you are at home. No, I'm not at home, take me home. Okay, wh what's a home that you need, mom? My slippers. Oh goodness, your toenails haven't been cut in a while. Are, are they are they hurting your feet? Yes, that I need my slippers to make my feet feel better. Associations are our brain's way of telling us that various things go together. It's how we categorize similar things. So what ends up happening when our loved ones get dementia is they start to build associations with seemingly random things. In our example, our person associated home with comfort, familiarity, safety, all the things that she wanted and needed. And even further than that, when her caregiver asked her what she needed at home, she stated that she needed slippers, which she associates with more comfort, specifically her feet being comfortable. And what her caregiver discovered is that her toenails hadn't been cut and her feet were hurting her. So she was trying to get her slippers in order to make her feet feel better. So ultimately, what seemed to be meaningless confusion talk was her trying to tell her loved one that her feet were hurting her. What's going on, Mr. Smith? I, I really need to get to the office. I need to get this job done, okay? I never leave the office site without getting the job done. The baby was crying all night long and I'm exhausted. I need to get this done so I can go home and go to sleep. Okay, well, why don't I try to get that order in for you? And uh, until then, we have a nice cot here that a lot of the overnight people will use. Why don't you take a little quick cat nap while I take care of this, okay? Okay, fine, sounds good. Long-term memories are the second thing that comes about in seemingly meaningless things that our loved ones or our clients with dementia will say. And the reason for that is our long-term memories will hold on for much longer than our short-term memories. And so without the short-term memories, like they're in a nursing home or they're in a hospital, they're to inform them of what's going on, they reach into their long-term memories and they decide X, Y, Z is going on. And I am however old and this is what's happening. So in our example, Mr. Smith, he had owned a construction company for 30 years and he had decided that he was at work like he had done every single day and that he couldn't go home and get his need met of getting some good sleep until the job was done. So the caregiver did a beautiful job in just going along with what he was saying and asking some key questions to help figure out what the real need was behind the long-term memory. What these two examples had in common is how the caregiver responded. So what you should do in order to get to the bottom of what the need is behind the meaningless, quote unquote, or confused talk that your loved one or your client is saying is that you should ask some simple questions around what they're telling you. And the first example, she asked, 
what is at home that you need? That is a key thing to ask. Or what's at work that you need? That way you're able to get more of a sense of what their motivations are in talking about the long-term memory or talking about the random thing or what these things could possibly mean in relation to helping them communicate what it is that they need. I hope that this video helped my friends. And if you liked these tips and you want to get some more, I have a free PDF in the guide that you can download. And as always, I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.